Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. In a short video, we would like to explore the icon set in conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel, particularly focusing on the confusion between whether to use a number, a percent, or percentile option when you have a list of percentages in your dashboard. So in a short video, we'll go through examples so that you know when to use any of these options when you are applying them to your report or Excel dashboard. So please join me and let's go through this in a few minutes. So here we have a simple financial dashboard comparing actual and budget values. Now, if you focus on column G and H over here, so let me just zoom in a bit. So in column G and H, our goal is to compare actual and budget. So for our income line, which is sales, we want to see how much we've earned over our budget. And then for our expense lines, from discounts all the way to utilities, also see how much we've spent over our budget. Right. So standing in here, I want to basically calculate the actual divided by budget okay so this gives us 261 percent means that we've actually gone beyond how much we expected to bring in right if i copy this down shift down control d right there are some huge outliers in our expense lines so these are expense lines so for discounts we budgeted 356,000. we did in excess of 5 million and that is why we have this 1,500%. Sometimes when you are creating a dashboard, it will be good to actually put in icons based on different thresholds. So maybe red, yellow, and green to show which ones are the outliers or not. Excel's icon set in the conditional format. So if I come to home, conditional format, this option, okay, allows us to apply these different icons with colors to the different thresholds, right? So as an example, all expenses beyond 67%, maybe it should be red, okay? Between 33% and 67% should be yellow. And then maybe between zero and 33%, okay, should be green, okay? So this is an example of how you can apply these thresholds. The problem, however, is that sometimes when we apply them, it doesn't behave the way we want it to behave. So let me give you an example. Focusing on these expense lines, I will highlight these. Okay, go to home, conditional formatting. We are using icon sets. So all these are examples. I'll go to more rules. Okay, and then this is the default display. Okay, now we can choose any of the icon styles, but in the arrangement of the icons, we want to show green when the value is more than 67%, right? Now, because we are doing this for expense lines, you have the option to reverse the icon order. So I can reverse the icon order so that I have red for values that are more than 67%. So I have my value here, but in the type option, there are four options, number, percent, formula, and percentile. If you are using this for the first time, you are likely to leave the type option at percent. Okay, so the expectation when you do that is that if you click OK, all numbers or percentages that are more than 67% should be red. But that's not what we are having here. You notice that only 1500% is showing red. And this is where the confusion is. You choose percentage. So why are we getting these values? So I shared this with my fellow Excel colleagues, Michael Olafusi and Victor Momo, and they shared some insights here, which I want to also share with you. So this is how it's behaving. Now, it's basically spreading the percentages between the minimum value in your range and the maximum value. So if you look closely, you realize that the maximum value you have here is 1,500%, okay? And the minimum you have here is 10%. Okay, so basically it's treating the 1,500% as 100% and the 10% as zero. Okay, so 
if I do a min of this on this range, okay, this is 10%. If I do a max of this on this range, this is 1500%. Okay, now we can actually scale up and down to see how these values actually convert between 0 to 100. Okay, so that you appreciate why only 1500 is read here. So the formula to do that, we are going to multiply 100, okay, by this number, okay, minus the minimum here. So I'll select this F4 to lock this, because I'll be copying this down. And then we divide this, okay, by the maximum here, F4, subtract this from the minimum. So basically to help us scale up and see how these numbers actually fare between 0 and 100. Okay, so I'll log this also as well. And then I'll close my brackets. So if I convert these to absolute values, this is actually 100. I copy this down. So Control D. Okay, now you notice that this has been set to 100. Okay, and then the 10% is actually the minimum value here. Okay, and it's relative, right? So you notice if this is 1,500 set to 100%, then 240% is somewhere in the 15% area. And that's how come it's green, okay? If you really want to understand this, if I revise this threshold to 300%, now you notice that the highest in the range is now 325%, which is now my 100, leaving 300% around the 91% range. Okay, so if you want to use this, please pay attention to the minimum and the maximum value because it is going to set these as the thresholds, the starting point, and then the maximum point, and then spread your values within that range, right? So obviously, this is not going to work for us. So let's go back and then see how changing it to number would affect this. So I'm going to highlight this again, go back to home. Conditional formatting. I'm going to manage rules because the rules are already here. This is still my icon sets. I'll come to edit rule. Okay. So usually if you want to set it to the absolute values, then instead of using percent, you have the option to use number here. Okay. So when you choose number, you now have to enter the value. So the threshold for red is 0 0.67. Okay. Then I choose number for the second one. This is going to be 0 0.33. And then obviously the ones that fall below the last threshold is going to show as green. Right. So let's see what we get when we choose this one. So if I click OK and apply, right, you notice that now we have what we are looking for. All percentages that are above or equal to 67% are showing the red icons. Okay, you can see, and the ones between 33% all the way to 67% showing yellow. Okay, and then the ones under 33% are showing green. So if you want to use the specific values, then by all means, set the type to number instead of percent. Right, now let's go in again and then see the two other options. So if I come to conditional formatting, manage rules, and then come here, edit rule, okay, the third option here is the option to use a formula. Okay, so here, if you have formulas calculated in the cell, you can choose this and then go in there. So assuming these were formulas, I could select these thresholds directly. In that case, when they update, your numbers also update as well. So I can set this also to the second threshold, come in here and then choose 33%. Okay, the expectation is that these won't change, okay? But the only advantage is that I can calculate them, okay? As long as they meet the condition true or false, the percentages will kick in. So that's for the third option. Now there's a fourth option called percentile, right? So let's explore that as well. So I go to conditional formatting, manage rules, icon set, edit rule. Now over here, if I choose percentile, okay? It behaves like the first option but the difference here is that instead of using the minimum and maximum values in the range at the beginning and end point it sets it 
to 0 and 100. So you know percentile is based on the positioning of the values okay in that range so if i click this and i apply and i click ok now you realize that 1500 240 percent 325 percent all fall above the 67th percentile and that's how come they are in red now again let's prove this so this time around is using zero and then hundred okay so in percentile terms if I take 1,500%, I'm asking myself, are there any numbers that are better than 1,500% in that range? Okay, if not, then this is in the 100th percentile, right? In Excel, there's a function to actually achieve this. So we use the percent rank inclusive. So it returns the rank of a value in a data set as a percentage, 0 and 1 inclusive, right? So over here, I'll select my array, which is this one, lock it F4 bring a comma and then I'll choose this as my X value okay I'll close this and I'll press enter okay so in terms of percentages this is 100% if I copy this all the way down okay you notice why these are red because all these fall above 67% okay then you have those that are yellow falling between 33 and then the 67 and those that are green okay so this function actually now gives us how the numbers are actually represented in the percentile 0 to 100. So hopefully you have these four options, you know how to use them. But before we go, I want us to explore situations where you have to apply the same conditional formatting when you have income lines and expense lines, right? So if I go back here and then I set these to the default absolute percentage terms so manage rules edit rule let's go back to the absolute numbers so this is going to be 0 0.67 and then this is going to be 0 0.33 so i'm leaving this as we left it okay for the expense lines but our goal is to find a way to invert this logic when the item is sales okay so pay attention to this one and i'll apply and i'll click ok so at this point this is taking the same format but let's recalculate this so that we can use an if statement to set out the sales line differently okay so these are arrays so i'm going to take this one so i'll bring my hash so that i cover all the numbers in this array and then divide this by that okay so when I do it this way, I now have all my percentages spelling down. Okay, let me apply this format up here. Okay, so this is showing red. It's behaving as it is an expense, right? If you have a situation like this, you can run an if statement. So we can say that if the line is sales, okay, then let's invert the logic. Okay, so while applying the red icon, we can invert the logic so that it returns green. So over here, I'll go to if, I'll go inside my formula and start an if statement and say that if the label in this array is equal to sales, okay, then invert the logic or turn it upside down. You can do that by doing one minus, okay. So one minus would turn the logic upside down. If not, then return the original value. So that's what we have here. And I'm going to press enter. Okay, now let me show you why you have minus 161% here. If you are calculating variance, okay, the calculation is actually going to be actual divided by budget minus one. Okay, so it means we've overachieved, okay, by 160%. And that is why you have this value here. And of course, it's inverted so that the green icon can work correctly. Okay, so this would apply if you have to set out your income lines and then maintain the same icon rule for the rest. Okay, so if you want to get rid of the values and show only the icons, you can achieve that. Go to home, conditional formatting, manage rules, okay, edit rule, and then you can show icon only. Okay, click OK, apply and OK. So at this point, you can even center nicely 
and then you have your icons showing as they should so we've gone through all the four options honestly when i started learning excel this was quite confusing for me so hopefully you know when to use all these options when you are designing your dashboards please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send ad to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly you can also visit our youtube channel finest skills hub all our old videos are here please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles thank you so much for watching